road games. Is this the toughest stretch on your guys' schedule? I mean, it sh certainly seems like one of them. Yeah, I haven't really looked ahead to too many games. So, um, to be honest, I think we play Philly, uh, maybe Chicago away, uh, Montreal away. So there's still some very difficult games coming. Um, you know, but the most important thing is for the guys to focus on what's happening now. Um, definitely a difficult stretch right now. Um, you know, but even saying that, we, probably, we, we know we didn't have our best game. Um, you know, first 15 minutes, we had no idea what they were doing. Uh, we, were, we were completely lost. I think everybody could admit that. And then, you know, we figured it out after 15 minutes when we started knocking the ball, keeping the ball. And I thought that we closed out the half well. And then, you know, they score within four minutes in the, in the second half. And then we're chasing and it opens things up, opens things up. And you don't want that on the road. So, um, you know, comedy of errors. Um, you know, we just got to be honest with ourselves and look over film. And we're playing the best team in the league this, this next week away from home. So definitely a tough stretch, but um, this is a good test. Yeah, and Gonzo said that you guys didn't really have the ability to sort of toggle things down and, and just sort of slow the slow this tempo. Mm -hmm. What do you guys need to do differently to, to kind of add that? <laughs> well, we had chances to slow the ball down. We just didn't, mm -hmm. um, you know, and that's, uh, you know, the, on the onus is on us, and it's, it's all about keeping the ball in good situations, knowing that we don't have to go a million miles an hour all the time. So that's something that we're still learning. Um, and more talks have come within the team than anywhere else that you know we might have to take over games by ourselves and figure out things on the field. And you know that comes with a veteran team and we've got to do a better job of that. Um, so looking over film, slowing the game down. We went at, we're one one, you know, second half, keeping more possession, pinning them in their half, you know, when the opportunities come. Um, so just smarter on certain situations, but you know, it'll come with time. Playing on the road, three straight now. I know playing on the road is part of it, but three straight, kind of a grind for you guys? Yeah, for sure. Um, you know, I mean, Toronto starts off, I think, seven seven games on the road or eight games on the road. So, you know, this is only three, um, you know, and it's a difficult stretch, but, you know, our goal is to always win these games on the road no matter what. So we've got to come in with a better game plan, especially with this team. Uh, who are playing lights out. Um, you know, they're, they're playing the best soccer in the league right now. So um, difficult task ahead, um, you know, but <clears throat> after this last game, we got three at home. So we've got to remind ourselves of that. You know, we've got to be, we've got to be good, you know, going away from home. And if that means playing a little bit more defensive, then, then that's what it means, um, you know, but the most important thing is to get a result on the road, whether that means a tie or a win. You know, I think after a long road stretch, you'll take either of those and then you focus on the three games at home. Add a little intensity with the Cascadia Cup matchup as well. Yeah, yeah of course, this is something you know that we that we take pride in. Um, you know, and we got the good result against Portland. Now we've got a chance to extend our our lead in in that department in, in the Cascadia Cup. Um, you know, and so for us, it becomes more than just a game. You know, it's it's another game against one of our longtime rivals. So you know, things change a little bit, um, more intense. Um, but we've also got to be smart at the same time. What is it that you're seeing from Vancouver that that is impressing you right now? Their attack. Attack is, is just free flowing. Guys are, you know, switching positions. Different guys are scoring. It's not the same guy scoring over and over. So they're playing as a team. They're playing as a unit. Um, it's going to be very difficult, and then we've got to be up for the task defensively. It seems like this Columbus crew really exposed you guys as flanks. Yep. What would you say that this team can do to maybe prevent that from happening farther on? Yeah, I think away from home, maybe we sit back a little bit more, you know, get our forwards behind the ball, let their two center backs have it. And that defensive midfielder, when he drops in, you know, that if we drop two forwards behind the ball, that eliminates three guys for them, you know. And so then it's, you know, eight or nine playing against their seven. Um, you know, we really didn't go over what we were going to do uh, facing crosses last week. So underprepared um, and, you know, guys trying to figure it out on the field and too little too late. Um, at certain points so you know but that's what that team does they expose you on the flanks and, and they cross the ball from open play you know by far the most crosses of any team in the league you know and when you have Kai up top and, and guys working underneath them that's going to happen so got to do a better job recognizing what's coming at us uh, before we step into the game. You talked about the Cascadia Cup and last year Vancouver came in here and was able to kind of get the trophy how much of that is on your guys's mind this week? Yeah uh, every trophy is we always go into a season wanting every trophy. And, you know, that's being a little bit greedy, but we've got to set our, our goals high. And uh, if we set our goals anything other than that, you know, it's not acceptable from top to bottom here. So, um, you know, rich rich history with the, with the Cascadia Cup. And, you know, it's something that we want. And that's the bottom line. Um, you know, that would be, you know, probably the Open Cup would come before I haven't looked at the schedule, but it'd be one of two trophies to win first. So if we can get that one underneath our belt early on and lock that one up, you know, then we have, you know, can focus on the next goal, the next goal, the next goal. So um, always remains a goal and, and definitely a special game with special meaning. For sure. So how was the travel to and from Columbus? Any issues? 
Uh, for us, it was good. Um, the starters plus two guys got out of Columbus early enough. Um, uh, to be honest, there was a, a bit of a nightmare. Um, you know, whether that was league mandated or you know, if the league had anything to do with it or United, we're not sure. Um, somewhere along the line, the flights got mixed up and uh, some guys didn't get home until 9 p.m. last night, you know, and they're out here training a full training session. So, you know, they sat in the, in the airport for a good nine hours. Um, so a bit of an error on travel agents part, whoever that is, uh, unacceptable. But, you know, we live to deal with it and the guys are out here training, um, you know, and it's, it is what it is. You know, sometimes these things happen.